Right now, cries for justice. One year after the death of 12 year old Tamir Rice, the boy's family and their supporters have been calling for the Cuyahoga County prosecutor to step down. We have team coverage of today's new developments, including our exclusive interview with Tamir Rice's mother. But we begin live on five with Tracy Carlos, who was there when a petition was delivered to get Tim McGinty off this case. What's the latest, Tracy? Well, Lee, yeah, it started here as a protest outside on the steps of the Justice Center, and then a small group of demonstrators made their way into his office this afternoon. We win! We come! Chance and demands. Not only are we demanding justice from Prosecutor McGinty, but we're also demanding that Ohio's Attorney General, Mike DeWine, do what he's supposed to do. Step up or step down. Holding signs, dozens of protesters stood on the steps of the Justice Center early this afternoon with a message for Cuyahoga County Prosecutor Tim McGinty. That message removed himself from the Tamir Rice case. The 12 year old had an airsoft gun when he was shot by a Cleveland police officer one year ago today. Some of the demonstrators, including Rice's cousin, delivered a petition with 200,000 signatures. I'm told those signatures are from around the globe. They delivered it to McGinty's office. The prosecutor wasn't there. He's not here right now. You can, I'm happy to take the, uh, take the uh, petitions from you. And do what with them? We'll, we'll look at them. And we, you know, we understand that there's great public concern about this. And we're aware of that. Now, organizers told me that they would also be delivering some of those petitions to the Attorney General's office this afternoon. We checked with the AG's office, and so far they have not received any petitions. In Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.